What's up everyone, Darkblade here, bringing you a first impressions blind let's play of the first few minutes of Assassin's Creed 3. Basically, I'm really excited about this game. I was a little bit apprehensive about the amount of hype it was getting compared to the other Assassin's Creed games. But, let's dive in and see what the fuss is all about, shall we? Now, I've played every single Assassin's Creed game that is to date, except for, um, um what was it, uh, Bloodlines? Uh, the PSP versions. Um, and of course I haven't actually, I'm not going to be able to play uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation because, be um, oh, I'm going to shut up on the cutscene bits. Or laugh them off. Because I don't own a Vita, Sometimes by the way. Both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles. Son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the enemy. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does, they've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Well, <clears throat> that's a recap for anyone who hasn't played the other games. <laughs> Well, this is a boring road trip at the moment. <laughs> Although, if this is a direct continuation, of course, off of Revelations and then <coughs> and that, then um, things aren't too merry, shall we say. Also, if the world is going to end December 21st, 2012, that means it's going to end when I'm at a Christmas meal. <laughs> anyway, so, <clears throat> sorry. I'll shut up. Let's go. 
Desmond face Desmond's face looks slightly remodeled. Oh no, uh, I suppose well Okay in the cutscene it looks slightly remodeled. <laughs> I know um, the developers and that were saying that this is going to wrap up Desmond's story, but, well, we'll see. Another moment down went Alice after it. <laughs> Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. <sighs> okay. So we're Alice and we're going to Wonderland. It seems. What? Oh, okay, just jump cut. Of course, if you don't want it, you know any of the sp the story spoiled for you in that. Um, you know, this is just the beginning. I'm not going to play the whole thing unless you guys really want me to. <laughs> um, but that could take a long time with a game such as Assassin's Creed. So I think we're here. Sorry, Desmond, I'll shut up. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, oh, Assassin's Creed can be potentially a long game, depending if you do all the side quests and stuff like that, because it is, it can be quite open world in a way. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Ah, I can sprint now. You must find the key. Because once you get the key, you get the Son. secret. The. The fuck? Here we go again. <laughs> okay, that was kind of amusing. <laughs> Desmond? Do you hear us? What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? <laughs> you weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. 
She's talking to me. Juno. <clears throat> okay, Desmond. While you were uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay. Okay, the animations are a lot smoother. Yep, the hype about the running and that is... Okay, Desmond. It feels better and the animation is better. Objects. Uh, what? Okay. Wow, okay, yep. Yeah. The, <laughs> these controls are definitely improved from the previous games. I give uh, Ubisoft uh, congratulations on that. This is going to make things a lot easier. Also, I don't actually have to press anything to sort of like sprint as fast as I can. I can just sort of. His normal running is his fastest sprint. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Alright, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Okay. Sorry, I thought I had to lock onto him, but apparently not. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Good start. Good start, Desmond. Shit, the animus is falling to pieces. Oh, I was supposed to go this way. Durr. I am pleased to say that so far this is looking quite good. I was actually surprised Assassin's Creed 3 wasn't actually going to be an all Desmond game in a way. Uh, something, you know, set in the future, well, modern times, I guess. But, I guess Synchronization levels look good it will now. be explained. You should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Rude awakening. Oh. This then. Oh, this would be quite awesome if this is Connor's dad, and then you go to Connor afterwards. <laughs> uh, uh, everything all right, sir? Everything yes. all right, sir? Fine. I'm just preoccupied. That's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retreat you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring a round of one. Thank you, Jeeves. Start mission. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? to kindly find your seats. Onwards. Good evening, sir. This way, please. <laughs> My apologies. Excuse me. Sorry. Coming through. tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you 
you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Oh. Eagle Vision is L3 now. Locate the gold target. Okay, where are you, Mr. Gold Target? Ah, there he is. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We need to find another way up. I already have. Okay. Time to uh, excuse myself. A thousand pardons. <laughs> My apologies. So sorry. Right, let's get on with this. Hmm. Is this really the way I'm supposed to go? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> How can not? Ooh, no one notice him. I mean, <coughs> sure you, sure, <laughs> surely you would notice a tiny pair of hands. Well, actually, no. I guess uh, when I look at it from this angle, things are a little bit more. <laughs> like there's a big cushiony bit. If he's not grabbing onto that, then should be all right. Picklock. Oh, is it going to be Skyrim? Picklock. This is trickier than I thought. Ah, aha. <laughs> well, if I read the actual controls, then I assume I would actually get this done a lot easier. I should stop going into this thinking that everything is going to be the same as the previous Assassin's Creed's in terms of controls, because they're not. They actually are a lot better. Oh dear. Oops. Certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. Then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. That kid looks creepy. Right, <clears throat> no, 
now might be a good time to sort of like get the fuck out of there. Yeah, time to go. <laughs> oh well. This circle still moves people out of the way. Out of the way. Please move. Oh yes, I am staying where it's safe. Okay, already the scale of the game feels grander than the previous games. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had, really, had a really good introduction scene. <clears throat> but this was subtle and grand at the same time. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. I didn't think it was dull. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. That, I bet, is the key. Of no. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it. it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. Them at your side will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Haytham, Kay uh, Haytham Kenway. If anyone knows Connor's second name, it's a giveaway. Okay. Now what? Uh, oh, there we go. I'm quite surprised that, um, you know, it's more than just Connor you're playing at the moment. Of course, obviously, something's going to happen. And Connor's going to be introduced, of course. But, I mean, we're almost 25 minutes into the game in that. And Anyway, I'll shut up. Back to the cutscenes.
Hey, sure, I can get up that way. There we go. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnell. <laughs> so I thought. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Come on, boyo. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Right, fight in. Let's see how that works. Right, circle is just a counter. Obviously, circles to parry and deflect enemy attacks. Am I doing this right? Oh, pff, d d d see, I should read the freaking attacks. Uh, I mean, the commands. Hold an int. There we go. Okay, that was a little bit. Oh, it looks like the count kills then automatic now in that. Uh, basically, you counter them with circle in that, and then as soon as you press square after, you will perform your counter kill kind of. There we go. Simon is. Oh, X. <clears throat> follow up with an X then. What's the meaning of this? Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <coughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader. Ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, 
What other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Good day, sir. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. The first half an hour's impressions are looking good. Basically, I'm quite surprised with the controls and that. Obviously, this game has a long introduction sequence before you actually get to play as Connor and the actual story becomes a bit more open world. But, so far so good. What I see is good. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Anyway, until next time, I've been Darkblade and thanks for watching.